Heavy to very heavy rainfall over 48 hours triggered widespread floods and landslides across Nepal last week, leading to an estimated $126 million in losses. The agriculture sector was hit the hardest, suffering $44 million in damages as large areas of crops were inundated. Economists, however, caution that the actual losses could be more than three times this estimate. The disaster has also severely impacted key sectors, with the energy sector losing $29 million and the water supply suffering $26 million in damages. The destruction caused by the late monsoon floods affected 21 districts, including Sinduli, Kaveri Palanghok and the Kathmandu Valley. They contribute 25% of Nepal's GDP. Roads, telecommunications and hydropower projects were also severely damaged. 37 highways, 312 telecom sites and 16 hydropower projects have been affected. Initial estimates suggest that the disaster could have shaved off 1% from Nepal's GDP. Experts warn that agricultural losses will reduce the economic growth, increase food prices and strain low-income households. Now, with the looming budget deficit, the Nepalese government faces significant challenges in funding relief and reconstruction. The government already owes $300 million to contractors and another $193 million in subsidies and debts. The disaster will likely exacerbate Nepal's economic struggles, with agriculture and energy output expected to drop sharply, affecting exports and tourism. Amid these challenges, the government has mobilized over 30,000 security personnel for relief efforts. Economists emphasize the need for prudent measures to avoid further economic upheaval. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.